Hi, Jeff Cote with Pacific Yacht Systems. Here we are talking about Garmin. And this time we're going to be talking about Garmin's and we're talking about the 1242. You can buy the 1242 in two different flavors, touch or with buttons. Come over here, this is a 1242. This is probably one of the most popular ones. I'd say so many boaters are choosing this. Some boaters are uncomfortable with touch. You know, there's different reasons. But if you're thinking about going with a touch screen, this 1242 provides a lot of uh, 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 punch. This is an XSV model, so it comes with a built-in sounder, so you can actually connect a chirp sounder, and you'll actually be able to see clear view and side view with this device, and also traditional sounder-looking images, all chirp, right on this image, on this device. And of course, we'll do radar, it's gonna do cameras, it's got two ethernet ports, really, really handy. And come over here, I wanna show you the contrast. This is a 1242 with buttons, you can see the controls, right? All of this is done here on the side. <coughs> And coming over here, I want to show you, this is a, now a 1242, but now touch. So this 1242 is more compact. On some instances, we can't, you know, the owner might want this device, but it can't fit it in. You know, they're, they're missing an inch, right? So if you have very limited real estate, sometimes you're forced to go down the touch route. You might not really want to, but on some boats, you know what? It's not so much what they want, it's what they can fit. So here we've got a 12-inch touch. So this is a 1242 touchscreen, again, super popular. I would say those two devices are probably the two most popular devices that we sell. Uh, we've done lots of boats with these two devices at the upper and lower helm. Generally, I would say most people will, touch, will choose touch on both displays so that they're used to operating the device. You know, they don't have to change the way they operate a device. Again, all these devices are going to do radar, they're going to help you know, integrate with autopilot, they'll do cameras, they'll do AIS overlay. I mean, they'll do everything, right? I mean, this is, it's got everything you want. A uh, really, really handy device. We'll generally do those with a Garmin radar. And again, this unit as well as an XSV, meaning it has a sounder built in. So you can actually connect a transducer right into the, the device. You don't have to go through a sounder black box. This is really handy. And as we're talking about this, we might as well talk about this is a GMI 20. Um, it's a multifunctional instrument, and you can have that instrument as a way to show any sort of data on your boat, right? We've got a demo mode right here, and it's showing wind speed, and you can show depth, and it's a really good, convenient way, especially for people that are sailors. Um, we all have these sort of instruments on our boats, and this is a way for you to start tracking important information besides charts, but just sort of data like depth, speed, wind, all these things in one place. It might be on the brow of your boat, might be right beside your helm, really convenient. So anyways, back to these 1200s, um, you can buy them with buttons or touch, both really popular, great value, and uh, they inter-network really well. This is again Jeff Cote with Pacific Yacht Systems. Feel free to reach out to us or watch more of our content on YouTube about Garmin products. Thanks for watching.